um, official numbers at 2015 were um, between 22,000 and 31,000 bears with an average of about 26,000. Uh, but if you start adding in the, the numbers from the surveys that were done since then, um, it adds up to about thir um, 28,500. And that's for official numbers and not, uh, and I have made some estimates um, that put those numbers even higher. But that's kind of another story. Some of the polar bear researchers that have been very vocal about um, the role that climate change is supposedly having in polar bear conservation are not really happy with me because I am using their own research against their present position. And what you have to remember is that the um, literature on polar bears is m monumentous. It just, it, it, it's, there's so much of it that virtually, you know, no one could really get through it. And anybody outside the polar bear community probably would have no idea of what's there. So one of the things I've done is actually to go back through that literature and back to the papers that were written in the 60s and the 70s and, and see what was happening there, what polar bear um, specialists thought about what was happening at the time, and using that as context for some of the things that they're saying today. And sometimes those things are quite at odds with what is being said today and um, I'm tending to bring that to the attention of the world. Well, this, the sequence that Al Gore used in his film of drowning polar bears and trying to use that as a scare tactic about what would happen with climate change um, he was really trying to um, dramatize a, an incident of a few bears that were found a few years before that in 2004 that um, were um, assumed to have drowned after a major storm. And much was made in the scientific literature about those bears. But it turned out on further investigation that there were a lot of sort of dodgy things going on in terms of that report. And it's really not clear that, in fact, the things that were seen were actually drowned bears or how many bears were actually seen. And the another aspect of that that's interesting is that we've had not a single other report of drowning polar bears since then. And so that would, the original report was 2004, it's now 2019, there hasn't been a single other report of drowning bears since then. So much hay was made of that particular um, incident that turned out to be nothing, really. And the, the fact is that polar bears are excellent swimmers. And um, they, they do break through the ice occasionally when they get up on it, but it's not a big deal for them. They, they are excellent swimmers and they're able to deal with um, ice breaking beneath them and can swim for hundreds of miles. <laughs>